Good evening. Nearly a year after Erie was in the path of a total solar eclipse, another unique astronomical event will be visible in the sky tonight. Tyler Gallagher met with a local astronomer and joins us in the studio with more on what we can expect. Tyler. Thanks, Jen. If you're up late tonight, you might want to take a quick look at the sky and you may just see what's known as a lunar eclipse. If you look up at the sky Friday morning and see a blood red moon, don't panic. You're looking at what's called a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is different to that solar eclipse that happened recently. So a lunar eclipse is when you have the sun, the earth, and the moon in line, and the shadow of the earth is going to fall on the moon. Lunar eclipses are also much more common than solar eclipses, occurring one or two times a year. But even so, Friday morning spectacle will be nothing short of a sight to see. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a shadow basically appear on the moon and then start to move across the moon over the course of several hours, basically. Um, eventually, you're going to see the whole moon turn a sort of reddish brownish color. And that's what people call the blood moon sort of phase. The lunar eclipse will begin around 11.56 p.m. Thursday night and finish up at 6.02 Friday morning. But to see the blood moon phase, also known as totality, spectators will want to look up at the sky between 2.26 and 3.31 a.m. Now there's a couple different ways you can look at the lunar eclipse tonight, one of them being binoculars looking up at the sky. If you want to get a little closer view, you can go with the telescope, but honestly you could just walk out in your backyard, look up, and it's safe to see. With a solar eclipse we were looking basically at the moon moving in front of the sun, and that means that you had a very bright sun, which there was a dangerous aspect to that to the eyes. This is just looking at the moon. It's perfectly safe to do so. For this eclipse, you won't be needing special glasses, but you may want to set an early alarm to catch the show. Meteorologist Tom Atkins will have more on tonight's forecast, and hopefully we'll get some clear skies for the eclipse. But for now, back to you, Jen. Let's hope so. And